Hello, I'm Kira the Simmer and welcome to my very first house video. Um, this is a semi-modern family house, I'll explain each of the rooms as we go. Um, but it's very open plan, lots of, quite modern but lots of like light wood stuff it becoming ultra modern. Um, front deck just adding in windows. Um, this is going to be the living area here. Um, it's very, not sort of empty but it's not as full as it could be. There's a lot, there's room for other things if you want to add it if you download this house. Um, link in the description below. But I kept it um, empty and open. Um, armchairs here, mainly for reading because of this study sort of area here I went for. Nothing too proper. Again, no walls, just really open. A couple of plants, flowers, loads of windows. And that's pretty much it. Um, here I think, yep, this is the woods I was talking about earlier. And again, arches, very open, not a lot of doors, not a lot of walls on this lower area. This is the toddler area, it's mainly downstairs for practicality. If you've got a single sim with a baby, they're cooking dinner, baby starts crying, they've got to go all the way upstairs to come down, no wait, all the way upstairs to feed the baby to come down. I just find when they're a toddler and an actual baby, it's so much easier to have them on the same level as you, especially because the master bedroom is going to be down here as well. Um, your usual stuff, cot, potty, um, some toys for toddlers, so you can keep them here as well. Um, really not much to say about say about this room. Again, very open plan, which is good if your sim's watching television, easy to get to their child. Adding in the lights just throughout here. But mainly in the day you'll just rely on natural light. Now coming up to the master bedroom and ensuite on its left. Um, here... Um, I've put no windows in this just because it's downstairs. The upstairs bedrooms do have windows, but it creeped me out a bit here, so I didn't. En suite, sort of like a light blue feel, but still just mainly white colours, neutral colours. I think I went with, um, I really like the flooring I picked in both the rooms. I think we've got this like sort of tile stone effect that I think is coming up right now. Well, coming up eventually. Yep, here it is. That's it. I really quite like that. And then the red carpet for the bedroom. White walls and then white tile with blue rim. Um, adding in just some artwork to liven it up a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Again, very open. Just all your essentials, all you need. Um, this is sort of the uh, laundry area. I think this came with ambitions. So um, if you don't have ambitions, you can just easily delete this area because it will literally just be a lamp and a ceiling light so just delete it it's fine or if you want you could put in uh, another bathroom here completely up to you but um, this is the laundromat area again arches no doors complete open living kind of um, that's also going to be the kitchen and dining area and again oh I like the w wallpaper I picked here it's sort of half stone half white paint that's it I, I really quite like there's going to be lots of windows here as well when I eventually add them just to um, so you can see out into the garden. I just like the look of it. Um, light woods um, thing, light woods counters, sorry, to carry on with the theme. White stove, but I think I've, the accessories are black just to break it up a bit because again I said I don't want to make it ultra ultra modern. Not that style of house, it's not what I was going for. Yeah, um, I couldn't get the alarm to go in the right place. It was really quite annoying. It meant I had to give up on one of my windows. And again, you see this is a family home with the fact that I had the high chair right next to the thing, next to the table. And that's really all the outdoor kitchen is. I'll come back to that later. Windows. Lots and lots of windows. Windows are great. Yeah, that's me trying to move the fire alarm, but fortunately no luck. And that is the bottom area. I think I'm a spiral staircase in now. Again, white. And then here. Um, I'm going to keep the roof as um, flat, just because I like colour. I like the colour the roof is done eventually. I'll move on to that later. Um, the room on the right of the triangle at the top is a spare room, so that's completely for you to do what you like with. I've left it completely empty except for a door to get in and lights. So just decide whatever you want to do with it. Um, here we're just filling in lights so you can actually see where you're going. And this is the master bathroom. 
Um, really quite open. Again, just the essentials that you need. Not because your sim can't afford it, because it's very um, loads of space in this house. It's kind of what I was going for. Loads of space, room to breathe. Again, we've got like the silver doors instead of the wooden ones we had downstairs because I wanted didn't want to keep it the same throughout. But obviously, we can't have it completely different. This is the child's bedroom. Um, there is a loft bed put in eventually. I know there's room for a normal bed and then the desk to go anywhere else but I, I just liked the look of the loft bed the um, sort of pastel sheets as well and the easel is mainly just for look like you obviously it's functional but I put it there mainly because I like the look of it obviously we're gonna add in loads of windows there in a second so um, not really much seeming like I couldn't decide what I wanted for the wallpaper in this room as you can see here it took me a while I didn't want to make it too childish, but I couldn't find anything like in between, so I went for complete child because better that than it looked mismatched. Windows. The windows to the master bathroom were placed so you won't be seeing the bath or the toilet or etc. They're not random. Anyway, through these double steel doors, we've got the guest bedroom. Um, same sort of theme style as the master bedroom. It's just quite a lot smaller. No hamper because it's more intended for guests. So if anything, they're going to be getting changed in your bathroom. Same thing for the kids' bedroom. Um, average stuff. Loads of windows going to be added in later. As you'll see. Yep, here we are. And that is pretty much it. Dresser, mirror, some nice sunflowers. This is the spare room I was talking about. Literally, if your sims are stylist or whatever, they can put um, their workshop in there. On to the front desk. Lights. Loads of floor lights in this house, just because they look great. Um, again, telescopes mainly added because I like the look of it. Obviously, functional, but that's the real reason it's there. Um, fences. Going to add in some fences to just separate the front and back of the house. And now terrain. I'm not very good at terrain. If you've got any hints and tips for me or any ideas how I can prove please comment or gmail me at um, kirathesimmer at gmail.com I just felt it makes the house look more realistic even if it's bad like mine is I think it's just the effort that it helps um because this house is for quite well off sims I've created two um, parking lots and four bike spaces you'll see that in a minute once it becomes light again and then tarmacked it over to make it feel like a proper drive as in um, real life. Um, I'll be doing more landscaping later. I think we're just adding in some lights on this. And I also put this glass sort of fence around it. As if it was some sort of porch. Even though there's no way to get out to it. I just like um, the look of it to be honest. More lights here. Um, that basically is the outdoor cooking area. There's nothing else. Um, I'll be putting in some picnic tables a little bit later your sims so they can actually eat outside but that's pretty much it there's nothing fancier than that stairs so they can actually get up clearing up the train what do we do next oh windows because you can't go wrong with windows again that room can be anything so i've just added windows all the way around uh, here are the picnic tables i was talking about earlier just filling in the garden fire pit trampoline um, playground sort of area and I think I put a sand pit in again this is meant to be a family home and for quite well off sims so there's quite a lot of stuff there but I don't think I've ever did it it doesn't look like a uh, community lot playground but it's not barren either I think it's a good mix um, I quite like this as well this is like a deck for the bar to go on if you're entertaining at a family party birthday party etc um, you can put some lights in change the colour of the deck, just make it stand out a little bit more. Those are lights. I just like the look of it. It's good. Move the picnic table so sims have better access. Yeah, just changing some finishing touches with the woods. Can't really remember what I went with, but we'll see, won't we? Um, I... Oh. Took me a while here. And that's basically the house done. Just landscaping. Oh, and this was a pain. Um, I didn't really know what to colour this. 
I didn't want to do it just plain white because I felt that was too modern. That's not really what I wanted to go for, but I couldn't find anything else that fit the bill. So I eventually went for this creamy whitey colour. Um, please tell me what you think of the colour because I wasn't a really big fan of it. If you can suggest something better, I'll be happy to change it and re-upload. Yeah, just quick look at the house. Landscape in here. I've said before, I'm not very good at this. Um, it also looks really weird because this has got empty lots um, all around it. So it's literally the only thing within miles. But I feel first house, I should probably attempt it and give it a bit more of a realistic feel if I can. Um, not much, just trees around either side of the house, but not in the back garden. Back garden, I want it to feel really like, um, as if they've had a gardener in or something. So really, nothing trees, nothing like that. Um, just trees around the side. I think I've got, um, a couple of coloured trees to break it up a little bit. Yep, there's a coloured tree. Got one tree at the front because I didn't want to block the house, so I didn't want it in plain view. Um, rose bushes of different colours to then break up the front. And um, I think, oh, and I changed the position of these because I wasn't really happy with it. Um, final touches now, just adding in um, grass. Um, it's not really necessary, but I like, I tried to really finish this house off as my first one, give a good impression of what I was like as a house builder. Um, the back garden, I went for this dark green, because if you can afford like a house like this, you can afford to have a nice lawn, okay? After this, then our house is finished. And that is the uh, master bathroom there. Very open plan, I think in the final design it had the bath in the middle. Um, front porch. Back garden of the semi-modern family home. Um, the outdoor sort of dining and bar area. Uh, the spare room for you to do whatever you want with. Remember, download link is in the description below. Um, guest bedroom. Child's room. Um, kitchen, laundry and dining area, very open plan as I said before. Laundry area, again like if you don't have ambitions, um, easily put just a double toilet in there if you really wanted. Um, en suite and master bedroom, you also see a little bit of the toddler area there, we'll look at that next I think. Yep, toilet area, toddler area, not toilet, I'm sorry. Um, very open plan, fits in with the house little study area you could obviously build on this there's loads of room if you really want to but i like this little corner of the house and finally the living room open plan very empty if you want to fill it you can um but that's it that this has been my very first sims 3 house building video um please um comment on any house ideas on how i can improve or what house you want me to build next or as it says gmail me at kira the simmer at gmail.com um, thank you for watching, like, favourite and share if you've enjoyed. I've been Kira the Simmer and as the Sims would say, dag dag.